So how's everyone doing? Well, I know it's been a crazy week. As of me filming this video, I still, we still don't know who the president is, but we have new movies. Over the Moon was directed by Glenn Keane and John Cars. It stars Kathy Ang and Robert G. Chu. Over the Moon tells the story of a girl who goes on a mission to space to prove the existence of a moon goddess. This was a cute movie, actually. It's a pretty good animated movie. Now, I do think it treads on some familiar ground when it comes to storytelling, but otherwise, I think this is a pretty fun movie. So, let's get into it. Right off the bat, it's great to see more Asian representation and animation. The last movie to do this that I watched was Abominable back in 2019. So actually, if you haven't seen that, you should go watch it. I did a review for it too. You can also check that out. But it is great to see more of that culture on display in animation. This movie specifically takes place in China and focuses a lot on Chinese culture and folklore. I think they did a really great job here of showing the different aspects of that culture and tying it into this mythical adventure. In terms of animation, this movie is absolutely beautiful. It's very vibrant and colorful. The set design, the character design is all really unique. They use a lot of weird shapes, especially when they get to the city on the moon. There's a lot of color, there's a lot of weird vehicles, weird creatures. It's a really great, well-developed world. And in terms of animation, like the actual action sequences, they're so smooth. My favorite being this one ping pong tournament that happens in the middle of the movie. Absolutely crazy. I definitely think this would have been really great to see on a big screen so you can really get all of the environment. You can see all of the action so smooth and like really high quality because it's definitely a big screen worthy movie. In terms of characters, I think we have a pretty solid group here. Everybody seems pretty fleshed out. We have Fei Fei who's dealing with big changes in her family and also the loss of a loved one. There's Chin who comes along with her on her adventure, who's very rambunctious and energetic. She doesn't really vibe with him. She doesn't want anything to do with him, but you do see the development of their relationship as the movie goes on. There's the moon goddess who's also dealing with some stuff, including the loss of a loved one. At first, she seems like she's a terrible person, but as they peel back the layers, you kind of figure out where she's coming from. And I think they did that well. Fei Fei and Chin also have these animal sidekicks. My favorite being Bungie, who makes the funniest facial expressions in the movie. I definitely think she stole the show. And I feel like her facial expressions definitely would be great meme material, especially now, because all of it just looks so relatable. I was laughing every time I looked at this bunny's face and it's almost like she was looking at the camera, really confused at what was going on. And I was like, I'm with you there. I, I feel where you're coming from. In terms of themes, I think they do a great job of, again, talking about change, but also death and reconciling with the loss of a loved one, what that means. How do you move forward from that? I think they did a really great job there and that's a lesson that I think will be relevant to a lot of kids growing up, especially now. Now, what could have been better? I do think there are certain characters that were introduced later on that I don't think get as much development or the development they do get seemed a little rushed. This is a musical and I would say the music in general was just fine. There were maybe one or two songs that I thought were really good and then everything else was just okay. These songs didn't really blow me away, but the singing itself was really good. The actors behind this, absolutely killed it in the singing department. And lastly, I do think some of the story points do kind of tread on familiar ground, especially in the animation territory. But overall, I would say I really enjoy this. It's really fun. And it helped me get my mind off of the craziness that's happening in the world. The verdict. I think Over the Moon is a great time. Like I said, this is a really good feel good movie. If you're looking for a distraction from the real world, this is it. I think it was beautifully animated, really great character development. Although it does tread on some familiar ground, I do think it's still very unique. This movie also gives us great Asian representation. So if you want to see more movies like this, definitely support it. Definitely give it streams so that they will make more movies like this. So what did you think of Over the Moon? Let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.